you guys, Tony could have been, um, this is a, uh, a mixed kind of video, kind of a mashup, um, got some things that are fun, got some things that are interesting, got some things that are personal, so I just put in the fun and interesting folder, just to, the playlist, just to change it up a bit. Uh, yeah, I am still thinking about how I was done dirty by not one, but two different women, and it all happened last weekend, in one weekend. My hair is getting kind of long, usually I, I tie it back, but uh, I try not to go to sleep with the hair tie in there, because I hear it like scrunches up your hair, you know, it gets all tangled up. But um, So on Netflix, um, I thought I was watching this new show, uh, it's called uh, Reality High, and like halfway through that, I, I was like, wow, this episode is real long, it's just not be a fucking movie, and like, that kind of disappointed me, because like, it was a cool concept, because it was making fun of social media and stuff, and I was just like, I was, I was just a different spin on like, anything that I would ever have thought of, that, I think it says a lot about society, like in a, you know, cutesy, playful way, I mean, it's probably a teenager movie for sure, but, um, yeah, uh, it was, um, it was interesting. And, uh, I feel like because it's a movie, I'm gonna know how it ends, because it's probably gonna end happily in a happy ending. Um, <laughs> but, like, I feel like if they kept, if it wasn't a movie, if it was a series, like, what new stuff would come from each episode? Um, if you look it up, a lot of it consists of, like, um, the, uh, what was that movie? Not not the Breakfast Club, but the the other movie with those, with that cast of characters, actors in it. What was that movie called? Um, Sweet Sixteen, I think. Was that it? Or I forget what it was. But um, basically, there's this friend who's like, who's like obsessed with this girl, and like she only sees him as a best friend. And then this girl meets her crush, and like they start getting getting along together and she forgets about the best friend but obviously at the end probably everything turns out happy and it's a waste of fucking time because it's a fucking movie oh yeah I spent too much time on that I, I didn't mean to go on that rant but um yeah um let me take a look at my notes here um being male or female so this goes either way I think if you have to count your sexual partners on more than two hands then you're a slut that's that's all I'm saying male or female that's all I'm saying you could be a female slut you could be a male slut this is just my opinion okay you guys gotta understand that like if you want to express your opinion on your own YouTube channel by all means go ahead but I'm just saying like if you slept with that many people that you yeah over 10 over 10 let's say 11 and up if you slept with that many people how do you not have an STD? Well, um, in other news, I do have my uh, Planned Parenthood uh, testing coming up again. Uh, I usually get tested like um, after and before sleeping with someone. So um, obviously you can't always pre predict the before, but you could easily control the after. I mean, they, they recommend maybe like waiting one or two weeks from a uh, know the sex but um yeah I think it's been well by the time the appointment rolls around it'll be one or two weeks um so in case you guys are wondering in terms of my count on my two hands I am at I'm at eight right now I think according to my notes I'm at eight so I have two more and hopefully you know I say this after every time but hopefully my ninth partner will be my last partner because I'm getting too fucking old, too fucking tired, jaded to be doing this dating shit. This is just too fucking stressful. I I should just get me a, a male order bride. I should just get me a male order bride. That was, that'll fix everything. Easy solution right there. I um <clears throat> you know uh, I was I was thinking about what to do with my uh hundredth video and um I think I decided that my 100th video will be my 200th video because I'm going to look back on it and watch it and be like, why was I so distraught in that video? 
For those of you who don't know, um, 100 video was basically me crying for about half an hour. Um, I was intoxicated. Uh, I was thinking about the past in terms of ex-girlfriends and whatnot. Yes, I said ex-girlfriends because, uh, like I expressed in that 100th video, even though no one's seen it, I was just saying, like, every time I break up or, you know, I get broken up with or I break up with someone or we mutually break up, there's a weight that's added on top of failed relationship over failed relationship over failed relationship. And that sucks. It sucks a lot. Um, there's a new manager at work. Um, he started like maybe one or two weeks ago, probably two weeks. I uh, I didn't talk about this because um, I had to simmer down a bit. Because, um, okay, I'll admit that uh, it was my fault for not checking the schedule online before going to work. Because my last work day in, in one of these past weeks was a Thursday. I didn't work until Monday. So when I came into work on Monday, they said, he said, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not scheduled. I'm like, I was like, what the hell? I mean, like, can I just stay? Cause I'm ready to work anyway. And the two people I talked to at the time, the two supervisors, they told me, no, we can't fit in our budget cause there's just not enough hours to go around. So, okay. Um, you know, I had to call a friend to pick me up and take me home. Cause I, at the, at the moment I didn't have access to the car. So. So um, the next day when I come in on my scheduled work day, the new manager offers me extra hours on one of the days that I was canceled for. And I'm just like, whoa, I didn't mention it to him, but like there's some massive miscommunication going on. Like if I just asked that manager that day, if you know, hey, I'm already here, can I just stay? In all fairness, I didn't even know the new fucking manager started already. I thought they were having an Ontario manager, like there's there's some woman who um from I don't know the district district office or something and uh she was the substitute manager and um I thought she was gonna be starting and um you know again and you know filling in. But um apparently that was not the case. How how am I supposed to know what happens in a store when I'm not working in like three or four days? I don't know. That's my gripe, that's my rant. Uh if you ask me what is bothering me the most, is honestly this past weekend. Even though everything else is, you know, just as important, maybe. They done did me dirty. They did me dirty. You know what? Fuck that. <sighs> Alright guys, I guess that's it. Uh, it's like 11 o'clock right now. Should probably head to bed for another day tomorrow. Um, going to a party tomorrow night, so that should be fun. Uh, I can't stay the whole night though, cause um, have to. I'm picking up an extra shift on Friday, and uh, I think Friday's a busy day for me. Oh, uh, NBA 2K18. I pick up my copy on Friday at around 9 p.m. Give me about two or three hours to install that bitch, and then. We are gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream my first impressions on NBA 2K18 at some point. But, you know, basketball season is right around the corner. It's always something to look forward to. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.